Aries, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be general, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband, he's over at 7D Tarot. His information will also be down below. Let us dive right in. In. So the overall energy is the judgment, justice, and the death card sort of creeped out there and definitely wanted to be part of the overall energy. So understand that right now it feels like there's a particular calling you're being asked to receive and, 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 and take action towards. Focus upon this. This is actually evolving you to a place where you are eliminating old versions or aspects or beliefs of yourself, old thought processes, old habits, old ways of doing things, maybe people that no longer serve you, but there's an awareness of of a, of a significant evolution that's being happen, happening right now. So honor yourself and honor your needs at this time because trust when I say that things are about to feel weird if they haven't already felt weird because the part of you that you felt was you that you identified with is now going to be evolved out, right? You're going to be moving forward from that version of yourself that you thought you were and there's going to be a whole new level to this thing exposed for you now. Almost as if like there were particular patterns of thought and beliefs and habits implemented that kind of built these layers over your true soul and then the universe gave you your true your your calling and guided you on this new path now and being put on and and going and answering this new path will like chip away those layers almost like if plaque was built up over your soul now it's going to be chipped away and again uh that that version that plaque that you identified with is going to be gone so going to get weird but going to get really really good at the same time now we have the two of pentacles pentacles coming up as well, which means that right now, because of this weird evolutionary time, what you once thought to be so is no longer going to be. So it's going to be like standing naked in a field. You're going to be like, where do I go? What do I do? What's going to happen? And so your thoughts are going to be all over the place, right? Well, how do I get this outcome? Well, what's going to happen? Oh no, right? It's going to be everywhere. The universe is saying this is completely normal, but the best thing you can do for yourself, Aries, at this time is focus and hold on to the areas of life that are a sure bet for you, right? Like that really keep you grounded, that keep you secure. Now for empaths, it's always going to be a form of meditation, nature of some kind, generally movement, right? Even if it's just a walk or a nice run, something that, you know, clears our energy. Maybe it's making a nice meal or creating something with art, painting, drawing, that kind of thing, but some form of creation um, that is fun, passive, easy, maybe writing a poem or something like that, but, but, but stay true to that, right? That's all you gotta focus on right now is, okay, what makes me feel good? What makes me feel happy? Leave me, have that, have that, really just keep your focus on that, right? Stay true to your knowing of, of that because again, you know, you're, when you're naked in a field, you know, you're, you're, you're definitely not knowing what to do. And so you'll forget that, oh yeah, okay, if I stick to these things, I'll be okay. So the universe is saying, just stick to the things that you know are, are work for you right now at this time. And, and, and just know that you will be guided through that sense of ease and that sense of passion. If we're feeling hectic and our thoughts are all over the place, then we're going to be more focused on the worry and the uncertainty and the newness of what's going on more. And again, as we know, when we do that, then we start to go into more of an obsessive searching and seeking for answers type of mode, which generally leads us down the Alice in Wonder rabbit hole of discovery. So it's not like it's a bad thing. It's just that it is a stressed energy. And what's going to happen is you're going to put yourself into the role of the universe and trying to make figure things out. And so not only are you going to learn a bunch of stuff, so it's okay, but then you're going to go back to familiar patterns because very uncomfortable, stressed out to, okay, this feels so much better, even though I know it's, you know, going back in time per se, at least it feels better. And then you're going to creep back into the, the power of the now. So really you can stay focused on the power of the now, stay connected to your heart chakra. Remember, visualize that heart chakra energy cord or string going up into the heavens, right? That's your hotline to the, your guides and angels. They're going to tell you everything, right? If you stay true to that calling and that knowing, then you're going to always be guided in a very step-by-step, -step, easy, fulfilling process in alignment with your um, with your path and your life's purpose okay if at any point of this journey 
you do start to feel a little bit lost or uh, uh, uncertain, you know, well, uncertainty is going to come with it. Uncomfortableness is going to come with it. Just be prepared. And that's why do everything you can to allow yourself to feel comfortable. Whenever I'm going through these evolutionary stages, I stick to my knowings, right? Meditation, running. I can meditate and I can run. I can journal. I'm good to go. Yeah, it's weird, but you know what? At least I'm feeling grounded and stable and my energy is not all over the place, right? So stick to your knowing. Um, There was something that I was going to say, and it was really good. What was it? It's going to come back to me. We have the world card, seven of wands, and the nine of swords. So again, this is just a new time, a new chapter completely, brand new chapter, one where you're going to... Um, you're going to want to know who you are, right? You're going to want to know who you are for this. Oh, this is what I was going to say. If you're ever feeling lost, uncertain out of your life's course, again, really feeling that emotion, just know it's because you have disconnected from your, from your life center. You've been uh, life center, life, uh, heart chakra, <laughs> energetic cord. Okay. So what's happened then is you've gone into more of a seeking and searching and efforting, looking for answers, energy. That's all that means, right? Disconnected from the now moved yourself over to trying to figure out the outcome and how it's going to work out. No problem. Awareness is there now. Recognize that that actually is a soul star chakra. That's right, unalignment. And so we actually have more than seven chakras in, uh, running up and down ourselves. We have lots of chakras. Um, but the next one we're going to speak about here, we've only spoken about the seven, is the soul star chakra. And it's about give or take six inches off of the crown char, crown chakra off the top of your head. Okay. And this is the bridge chakra, also known as, um, that connects us from the temporal world or, or physical world to the non physical world. And when this is out of alignment, we feel off our life's purpose and off our life's path. And so to realign this, it's just about honoring our spirit's needs. And it's about taking care of ourselves in a way where it honors what our uh, heart is asking of us. Okay. Now you can go and Google it and see other ways of how to align it. But this is the number one thing is to just make sure that you're always honoring your needs. And the, um, here's the thing, right? Is that we accumulate a lot of uh, identifications, right? We identify with a lot of different um, aspects of ourselves, and we associate with them. We identify with them, right? This is who I am. This is what I believe. This is, you know, this is it, right? And this puts us in a tiny little box sometimes because as we evolve, we're going to be removing a lot of those. This is who I am, right? And as we go through this process of removal, we're going to experience a lot of uncomfortableness because a lot of subconscious fears are going to come forward that we've buried deep inside. But when the more that you accept these subconscious fears are just energy that has been held onto from an emotionally charged receival place. Like for instance, when you've seen something in your outer world, say someone makes fun of you, right? That doesn't feel very good. We take it to heart. Oh my God, they're making fun of me. They don't like me. They don't like me. And then you, you hold that in, right? You're like, what? but in, if you were uh, in alignment with your true self and your soul star chakra was completely aligned, if someone made fun of you, you would look at them and be like, wow, I feel really bad that they're in such a dark place in their life that they feel they need to make fun of somebody else to make themselves feel better. You see the difference, right? Instead of viewing it, reacting, oh my God, they don't like me to, oh man, poor soul. What can I say that would maybe help them right now? You know what I mean? Because you're grounded in who you are. And this is what the universe is asking for you right now to be grounded in who you are, because there are going to be areas of, uh, and times that come up that are going to call for you to be your very best version Aries. And this is only going to come when that soul star, soul star chakra, otherwise known as the life purpose chakra, my opinion, or the bridge chakra is full aligned, fully aligned. Right. And that really does just comes from being truthful and honoring what our needs are in every single moment. And, and making sure, you know, we are beautiful, making sure we are having fun, having fun along the way. Now, it's hard to have fun when we're in these big evolutionary serious times, unless we, of course, are connected. Um, and even when we are, you know, it's, there's changes, right? So again, things feel a little bit weird, right? Naked in a field. It's not always fun. So the best thing you can do for yourself is you can make this, you can almost joke with yourself, almost make it a, 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 you know, make it a game. And so if we're thinking of being weirdness as naked in a field then start dancing, you know what I mean? Really, truly start dancing. And that's what the dance card is coming forward again, right? Have a good time doing it, right? Have a good time being weird, you know, at least laugh at yourself. At least be, well, we're learning lessons today, universe. Holy moly. You know what I mean? And again, when you have, when you are connected to your energetic cord to the heavens, when you are making sure that you're keeping up with the routines that leave you 
feeling like you, right? Then you're going to be having a lot of fun while you do it. And then in the meantime, you're going to be you're going to be able to see more of the guidance from the universe because the universe is going to be showing you a lot of signs right now, um, and it's they're going to be um, communicating with you in a way where you'll be able to pick it up and receive it. But again only if you are in the receival mode, which is coming from a place of having a good time and not getting too serious. And it's important to really embrace this, embody this energy, because we can all get way too serious with ourselves, especially in our adult years. It's like all of a sudden we have goals and, and um, you know, schedules and things get so, oh, got to abide by this, otherwise I'm not worthy. And it's just a bunch of nonsense, right? We've got to have a good time. We've got to be laughing. We've got to be making fun of ourselves. We've got to just be making making everybody laugh around us, right? We've got to have a good energy to it. That good energy will always leave us feeling in the receival mode. And there is going to be a lot of a lot of beautiful downloads that are going to enter your life. If not already, they are going to be very soon here, Aries. And the universe is saying, go for it. And here we have the go for it angels card. And right before that, we had the trustworthy guidance angels card. So this card is all about receiving guidance from the angels and to um, allow them to support you and help you on your journey, right? So whenever you receive something, oh, maybe I could do this. Oh, that feels good. Okay. And then you know what you can do? If you're ever hesitant on the downloads you're receiving, you can always be like, okay, angels and guides, I've received this download. It feels really good, but I'm uncertain. Can you please give me a profound sign to let me know if this is exactly the direction of focus I should be taking? I would truly appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll wait for your sign. Thank you, angels, right? Let it be. And then at least the pressure's off. You're like, okay, ball's in the angel's court. Angels are going to let me know. In the meantime, I'm just going to, you know, kick it here on planet Earth and do my thing and make sure that I'm having a good time while I'm doing it for, you know, keeping up with my routines that leave me feeling grounded. And I'll wait for the cue. And then at least, again, it's off of you. Let go to receive and everything is going to flow in very organically. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.